laughed when I said I wanted to be a stand-up comedian. Well, no one's laughing now. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Shane Jarvis. I'm from Gippsland. And I always knew I didn't fit in there, but I couldn't figure out why. I figured it out in year seven. I was the only one in my class who didn't receive a Mother's Day card. <laughs> People are so precious about their children. Like, I made one joke about my brother's son looking paler than Michael Jackson. And he got mad at me. Like, I was the one who decided to have an open casket funeral. <laughs> that I dress like a desperate prostitute, uh, but uh, you dress for the job you want, right? <laughs> Amy Schumer actually has a similar opening line for one of her shows, so I'd like to apologize to the person she stole that joke from. <laughs> I've been in an abusive relationship for quite a few years, and I'd probably still be in it actually, but she moved out. She went to some battered women's shelter. <laughs> worked. Like, she was a morning person. I'm not really a morning person. Like, my grandpa died. I got over it pretty quickly. <laughs> he was a priest, and uh, I want to die the way he died, peacefully in my sleep, not screaming like the 12-year-old boy in his trunk. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma's been cancer-free for the last five years, which is pretty cool. It's just such a shame she's been dead for the last six years. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't know why. My grandpa, oh, uh, sorry, cancer runs in my family, so it's kind of ironic. Like, my uncle's star sign was cancer, so it's kind of ironic how he died. I pushed him down the stairs. <laughs> I've, been, I've been trying to cut back on my drinking, so I've been doing this by setting myself little goals. And one of them was try not to drink before 10. And I really tried, I really tried. But do you know how stressful it is being nine years old? <laughs> <laughs> so I was drinking in the park the other day. And my god, children are judgmental. Like if I wanted to be judged by a seven-year-old, I wouldn't have had that abortion in year nine. <laughs> extenuating circumstances, like if she's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> on the tram on the way here, I was sitting down, and this old lady was standing up, and I was probably the youngest person on there, and everyone was looking at me like I was a monster. They, like, why aren't you standing up? I'm like, I can't stand up. I've got a problem with my heart. I don't fucking have one. <laughs> <laughs> Public transport is a nightmare. I was on the train last, last week, and not one person, not one person that was speaking English. It really ruined my holiday in China. <laughs> <laughs> I did a bit of traveling, and I traveled to America. And like, say what you will about the Americans, but they have some amazing back-to-school sales. I got six guns. <laughs> So I got fired from my job recently, which yeah, sucks. Um, you know when you're not hungry, but you just gotta eat something because it's there? I'm no longer a gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> which is probably a good thing, because I was always surrounded by cunts. <laughs> it is really hard to find work in Melbourne. Like, every corner is taken. <laughs> Especially in December. I have to compete with Santa Claus. Who's going to want to sit on my lap? <laughs> Santa can give you presents. All I'm going to give you is chlamydia. <laughs> but I'm really good at lying to children, so I'm thinking about becoming a religious teacher. <laughs> One of the worst things about being a girl, every girl in the room will know this, you will always have creepy, disgusting old men staring at you. And it's disgusting. It's gotten to the point where I no longer feel comfortable stripping at retirement homes. <laughs> I actually, I volunteer.
volunteer at a retirement home? Is it, is it volunteering that's court ordered? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm in a retirement home anyway. And one of the newest crazes is that they, they love Game of Thrones. They're all about Game of Thrones. But they get upset when the characters, when the characters die. Personally, I love it when someone there dies. Like, it's one less name to remember. <laughs> Same goes for in the show. <laughs> Speaking of death, we've all heard of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Why do the kids always waste their wishes on going to Disneyland? I wish to not be fucking dying. <laughs> How hard would the job be, though, to tell the kid that their wish isn't going to come true? Like, I'm so sorry you're not going to meet Zac Efron. But don't worry, in a couple of days, you're going to meet Robin Williams and Alan Rickman. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from Michael Jackson. <laughs> Thank you, guys.